On a team filled with Division I talents, Sophia Persley is making her mark not only as a volleyball player, but also as a future leader in the U.S. Army. The Bennett Academy senior recently committed to West Point to continue her academic and athletic career, a decision that connects deeply with her family's military heritage. My great-grandfather was a 1949 uh, graduate from West Point. He's still alive, so I've grown up going to games and like being a big Army fan. After graduation, her great-grandfather served in the Air Force, where he flew in 50 combat missions. He served in many roles within the U.S. military, ending his career as a three-star lieutenant general. West Point has produced the most U.S. military commanders among all service academies. With that family connection, Sophia Persley made her commitment official after an April visit to the academy. I was really excited. Uh, my great-grandfather, he was one of the first people I called to tell him, and he was super proud of me. The decision to attend West Point was more than just playing volleyball. Persley sought a larger purpose filled with leadership, service, and hard work. I'm super excited to play at a D1 volleyball program where I not only get to be a volleyball player but someone outside of volleyball as well. Um, at a lot of D1 colleges it's kind of your whole life and at West Point I get to play the sport I love but I also get to be so much more. I get to be a cadet, I get to be a soldier, I get to be a student. Her journey has not been without its challenges. This season, despite being a Division I commit herself, the Red Wing knew her playing time would be limited on a squad with 11 total D1 players but her spirit and leadership have not wavered. I've gotten a really new perspective on learning that you can be a leader and not on the court and everyone has a role and everyone's important. So I've worked in having the perspective of working hard every single day and fighting for that spot. Bennett Academy head coach Brad Baker has seen her hard work and growth firsthand throughout the past four years for a team that has finished as the 4A state runner-up the past two seasons. Persley recently made the position switch from middle to outside for the Red Wings, and that didn't stop her from receiving D1 interest. You know, you see kids that want to set goals and want to work hard, but you don't always see them follow through. It's one thing to say you want to do something, but it's another thing to be able to put the time and effort into them. And she's been one that has set goals, and then she goes and does them. Persley's goals extend well beyond the volleyball court. At West Point, she plans to pursue a future in medicine, aiming for a coveted spot in the academy's medical school program. They send about 30 students every year right out of graduation to med school fully paid for. Um, and so that's one of my goals is to be high enough in my class rank where I can get one of those 30 spots to go to med school and hopefully become an anesthesiologist one day. Preparing for the military aspect of West Point has been a major priority for Persley and her family as well. So I like weightlifting to begin with, but I've been in the gym a lot. My dad got two rucksacks, um, so we started rucking a little bit this summer and this fall. I'm going to be rucking as well. As the Red Wing prepares to join one of the world's most prestigious military academies, her coach has no doubt she'll thrive. You have to be a pretty tough kid to start to go there because it's they're going to they're going to challenge you physically and mentally, and I think she's up for it. Um, She's never backed down from a challenge that she's had here. I've never seen her back down one in school. And those are the characteristics she's going to need to be successful there. Inspired by her family and strengthened by her experiences playing for one of the top volleyball programs in the country, Persley's future is filled with purpose, leadership, and honor at the United States Military Academy. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Joe Kennedy.